everybody and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute and a lot of stuff has happened over the time and i can explain but make a long story short um i don't even know where to start i i guess it's life i guess life it's been extremely overwhelming from my apartment catching on fire to me breaking not me but my son breaking my camera and me having to wait on this one we pre-ordered this one and this one took forever to come in then a hurricane hit and i couldn't get it on time so enough with the the bs and the the explanation i think i might do a separate video then again i'm not even gonna promise no more videos because i promised the last video i think i did too much getting into it and that's why i took so long because i felt like when i was doing it the production just wasn't there and i feel like i overthink it when i come to doing my videos but anyway let me hurry up and get into this video because the sun is going down and um yeah the camera's starting to die fast i don't know why but with that being said welcome back to my channel it feels great to be recording again and doing what i love um i'm gonna hold off on the sheen video because so much didn't happen over the time and i did that video like what a couple of months ago and i didn't receive about 10 packages from sheen since then and it's gonna take a minute for me to do all that stuff so i might just do it in bits and pieces well what i plan on doing is anytime i do like a haul like say the zara haul today i'm gonna just show like bits and pieces of the stuff because that is just gonna be one long video let me hurry up and just get straight into this video the first thing i purchased was this ring it's a gold ring it has like these little detailed tribal bells on them so anytime i move my hand it makes like this little jingling sound <laughs> The next ring I bought was this red ring. It's kind of heavy. It has metal around. I'm not sure what I'm saying metal, but I'm not sure exactly what it's made of. But love the detail on it and the pattern on it. And I don't have too many red rings. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, this is a beautiful piece that I can also add to my collection. This is the third ring that I bought. It's yellow and it has like this mirror glass effect to it. But it looks just like the one before. But of course I fell in love with the color and I just couldn't pass it up. This last piece, I'm not showing it on camera. And I ended up giving it to my daughter because my head is too big. I don't know if this was meant for somebody with like a tiny head. Maybe it fit the model, maybe it didn't. I really don't remember how the picture looked, but I'm a big head girl and yeah, this was just not gonna do it. I gave it to my daughter and it fit her perfectly. On to the actual pieces. This is the first piece that I bought. It's this sports skirt and it was really different to me. So I ended up buying it. I don't remember the price, so I'm gonna have to go back and look at the receipt online because of course I had to take the tag off when I bought it but it really does give you sporty vibes it's been a minute since i purchased anything like this if y'all see any dirt on it it's from me sitting on the rocks when i took the pictures but yeah it's a long skirt and it is about to be fall so it's just gonna be fun dressing it up and trying to find different ways to style it rather than just being a summer skirt here's the shirt that i paired with it i actually never i bought this from zara like i ain't even gonna say a while back probably a couple of months back like probably when the pandemic first started i'm really not sure but it's this crop top and it wraps around and these are the strings that go to it and when i saw it i just thought it was a really pretty piece so i was like why not in the lavender just sets it all. i don't know if i was in a lavender mood when i bought this but i went to the thrift store and bought a whole bunch of lavender and then i ended up seeing this online and i was like give me that the next thing i purchased were these sport platform shoes if you know me you know i love platforms i'm like the platform queen but i like these because these were like sporty they had like a little edge to them i could picture me doing these with like a a real baggy 90s look so i just fell in love with it of course i'm probably not gonna be able to wear it for fall probably because of course i live in new orleans and it's always hot down here so maybe maybe not but i just had to have these next thing i 
purchase was this dress. It's like a simple body kind of dress, but the color really set it off. And I was like, why not? It's real comfortable. And at first I just planned on wearing it around the house because I don't want to wear y'all. I don't know if y'all know, but I really don't be going anywhere. Especially since the pandemic started. The next purchase I bought was actually, I actually ended up forgetting to pop the tag on it. So <laughs> this dress, I don't know why I always do it. Sometimes I just be forgetting to pop the tags, but this skirt was $9.99. I'm guessing it would be a mini skirt. I'm not sure if it's just because I have long legs, but I was feeling a pattern. The outfit I did, I don't know why I could just picture myself wearing it in London. I tried to do like a summer theme for this video. I don't know if you noticed, but that's why I chose the colors that I chose. But they ended up going perfect together. I first saw this dress and I fell in love with the patterns. Like, I don't know what it is. It just gives me retro, some kind of retro. I don't know why retro is popping up in my head, but it's just giving me retro. I don't know if it's because of the way I styled it or the colors I put together, but it's very much even retro. Next, I have these Zara heels that I bought. That's dirt. Okay, in my defense, I was walking in dirt. I'm not dirty and my feet don't be dirty, but I was walking in dirt, so let's just ignore that. Pay attention to the shoe. <laughs> but yes, these are the shoes. And these are similar to the, these other ones that I wanted. And when I went, I didn't get them. And when I went back from, they did not have them. But these were just as good. Yes, I'm a kitten heel girl. I don't care how tall I am. Sometimes I don't feel like wearing stilettos. I be wanting like the little cute church heels. So these are some cute church heels and that I will recommend. The next purchase I have is this white dress. And if you see another dirt stain, it's because I was on rocks. On, sitting on rocks. So, ignore the dirt. I didn't get to wash it afterwards. I was supposed to wash it. I didn't have time. So please bear with me with this video. Okay, so this is the dress. And at first, I am not gonna lie. I put it on and I was like, this is giving nightgown. Like, it's comfortable, not in a bad way. Like, it's comfortable, but it just didn't look the way I thought it would look. Like, the witty they had it on a model, I guess because it was a certain angle that she was taking. I thought this was gonna be a body kind of dress too, but of course I managed to pull it off. This dress is giving me, I'm about to go ride in a vintage drop top and just ride around with my hair blowing in the wind. This is what this is giving. But it's really comfortable and it's see-through. So I didn't know how to, I don't normally don't wear see-through clothes. I mean, nothing, nothing to you if you do. I just normally don't. But I didn't mind this. Like, this was actually cute. And it was real flowy. Like I said, it was comfortable. But I still feel like I wear it around the house just because it's just that comfortable. And the material is really soft. The last thing that I will be showing y'all that I bought was these hiking boots. And they look like, no, they are. They're platform. And I saw these and I thought these were cute. And I just automatically thought, uh, I just automatically thought about me doing like some baggy jeans or like a baggy outfit. I don't know why. I just think it'll look cute with this. Of course, I want to try other things, but that's the first outfit that came to my head. And no, I didn't try them on yet. Um, I didn't dress them up. I tried them on. I didn't dress them up yet. I was thinking they me. But like I said, these are shoes. These are close up. And of course they look big on camera, but my feet is not big. They just look like that. But yes, that is the last thing that I will be showing y'all that I appreciate. Thank y'all for watching my video and...